SMT Nation, we back. Nation, it looks like we got some official news out of the T-Mobile and Mint acquisition. Uh, let me give it to you guys here today. I'll be sure to provide some kind of an article link for you guys to check out more of the details from the news. Uh, the link will be down in the description. Uh, ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you are new here and turn on the bell notifications icon to never miss an upload. All right, so official news here. T-Mobile has approved, or excuse me, T-Mobile has received approval from the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, uh, for its proposed acquisition of Mint Mobile and Ultra Mobile. So the acquisition, which was originally uh, slated to, I don't know, seek approval starting last year, uh, it's been a bit of a a bit of a journey for this one. Uh, one of the things that you know we've seen is that there's been some some opposition. Uh, specifically, some companies have come out and said, you know, this is a, a bad deal. You know, it shouldn't be approved. So there's been some resistance. Uh, one of the things that we've seen was the holdup was uh, the request for, you know, phones to be unlocked, uh, do you know, and in order to permit and allow and approve the the acquisition. And I think what happened is T-Mobile agreed to it, and that's why they're getting the approval. So uh, that's that's pretty much the last step that was required. In terms of a date for when the approval will happen, it's expected in short order. Uh, I don't think there's going to be much uh, in the way anymore. So uh, how do we look at this from the consumer perspective? Well, according to T-Mobile, they say nothing's going to change. Mint Mobile continues to operate as it would. Um, th that would be great for consumers. We know how competitive Mint Mobile is. They're our partner. Uh, you know, they, they do offer great plan rates and a very cost-effective way to get access to the T-Mobile network, America's largest and most available 5G network, and all those great things. And now with the concession for phones to be unlocked, that's another consumer advantage. Uh, so that's that's a good thing. Uh, so hopefully we get that outcome, right? All we care about as consumers is continuing to get good deals. Uh, you know, a, a company like Mint Mobile, which has a unique structure and process, uh, we definitely want to see that continue to flourish in the marketplace and in the industry. So th this is kind of like the next, you know, evolution of this transaction. We'll be expecting that deal to close shortly, uh, maybe sometime in May, possibly June. But uh, it looks like it is a green light and it is a go. Just thought I'd give you guys the news. All right, what do you guys think of the news? Did you think that this was inevitable and was going to happen? Or did you think that it was going to fail and kind of where you are now with it, good with it, don't like it? Thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.